the connected OR hub, or just the hub, is the brain of the entire video platform. The hub enables the tower consoles to communicate to each other. It can also save custom settings in surgeon profiles, control devices, and capture and record media. Device settings can be customized and saved in what are called surgeon profiles. These can help speed up case setup. To view the available surgeon profiles, select the surgeon icon in the top left corner of the screen. Select the surgeon's profile. If you do not see the operating surgeon, call your striker representative to create a new profile. From the home screen, press Start Case to begin a case. If applicable, make sure that the correct surgeon profile is selected. Press the Patient Info tab to begin entering patient information. Press in each field for the on-screen keyboard to appear. Alternatively, your hub may be configured to import patient information directly from an EMR or PACS modality work list. After entering the patient ID, select the Search PACS or Search EMR icons if connected to the network. If you're unsure about this step, please reach out to your striker representative and ask about hub and EMR connectivity. On this screen, select the surgeon name, surgical specialty, and procedure type if configured. This is essential for applying device presets and including these labels on printed media. Once the patient field has been filled out, select the Room Setup tab. If using a surgeon profile and device presets, check that all device presets are selected and select Apply Device Presets. If the hub's audio is on, you will hear Device Presets Applied Successfully. Prior to advancing to the capture screen, you have the option to run a surgical timeout. To begin the surgical timeout, select Timeout tab at the top of the screen and press Begin Timeout. This checklist is completely customizable and can be updated to reflect your needs. If you wish to skip the timeout, you can navigate directly to the Capture tab. The connected OR hub, or just the hub, is the brain of the entire video platform. The hub enables the tower consoles to communicate to each other. It can also save custom settings in surgeon profiles, control devices, and capture and record media. Once you have entered patient information and set up the room, you will advance to the capture screen. It is essential to be on the screen to capture images and record video. Images and video can be captured via the camera head, or by selecting the camera icon for pictures and the red record icon for video. If you're attempting to take pictures and hear the audible camera sound but do not see the image, then double check to make sure that you are on the capture screen. Video and image count will appear on the capture screen as media is captured throughout the case. The connected OR hub, or just the hub, is the brain of the entire video platform. The hub enables the tower consoles to communicate to each other. It can also save custom settings in surgeon profiles, control devices, and capture and record media. Once the procedure has ended, press the Media tab to view all media that was captured during the case. From here, you have the ability to select which images you'd like to have printed by selecting each image. If you would like to deselect all images, press select slash deselect all. Next, you will select print. This will prompt you to edit any printer settings, such as desired number of images to be printed on each page, color settings, number of copies, facility logo, and watermark. After printer settings have been updated, press print. If you are exporting media to other destinations, follow the export media instructions. If not, press end case and confirm ending case. This will bring you back to the home screen.
Once the procedure has ended, press the Media tab to view all media that was captured throughout the duration of the case. From here, you have the ability to select which images you'd like to export by selecting each image. If you would like to deselect all images, press Select Deselect All. Next, you will select the Export icon. From here, select from a variety of destinations to export media, including USB, CD, DVD, PAX, EMR, Studio 3, or direct to the My Patient Hub iPad application. Available export destinations that have been configured will appear as ready in a green text. Press the empty box to select the destination. Once you've selected your desired destination, select Export in the bottom right corner of the screen. Once media has been successfully exported, press End Case and confirm ending the case. You will be prompted to print additional images that have yet to be printed if applicable. Pick the option that best fits your scenario. Next, confirm if you would like to end the case and finish. This will bring you back to the home screen. If you need to access a previously completed case at any time, you will need to navigate to the archive. From here, you can review the case and print or export media. To access the archive, you will select the menu icon from the home screen. Next, select the archived cases icon. Scroll through the archived case list and select the desired case. Then, press view archive. Next, select the media gallery icon to select and view captured media. Select the media you'd like to export or print by pressing on each image or video. Once the desired media has been selected, press Export or Print. Select the desired export destination, then select Export and X once complete. Once the media has been successfully exported, press End Case and confirm ending the case. You will be prompted to print additional images that have yet to be printed if applicable. Pick the option that best fits your scenario. 